Hey folks, welcome to another Friday fishing forecast. And uh, what a what a week that it's been. Uh, we're coming off that storm, uh, Hurricane Debbie. Uh, we had some major water issues here at the shop uh, this last weekend. We lost quite a few shrimp, and uh, this week we struggled and fought the water uh, with the huge, huge sewage dump that we've had over 9 million gallons worth of sewage, raw sewage dumped. In the nine years I've been at this location, I have never smelt raw sewage until this, this week. Uh, every low tide that we had, we had very strong smell of raw sewage. Uh, matter of fact, one of our filters I brought out to clean and it was absolutely caked with raw sewage. And uh, pretty nasty stuff. We struggled all week to get the balance of the water just right. We finally got the balance of the water just right. The water's getting cleaner, uh, so it's getting better. I was talking to my buddy Brian down at Palmetto Bait and Tackle, and he was showing me pictures of his underwater light in Teresia went from red to green finally just last night. So uh, things are improving with the water. We attempted to go offshore last Saturday. We made it offshore to 15 miles. As soon as we got to the location, we had an alarm go off on our starboard engine. Uh, it was saying that there was an issue with the power steering. I thought that I could fix it. Uh, we, we were unable to fix the situation. So we drove back in with just steering on one engine, which was no big deal. When we got to the eight mile mark outside of Egmont, there was rows of poop water that we can just see for as long as you can see there was rows of just poop water and the, and the reason why i know this is because my buddy chad is in that wastewater industry and he knows what it looks like so as we were driving in he was like yep there it is there it is there it is and then once we got to the three mile mark i don't know if you guys have ever seen where the mississippi meets the gulf and it has this line of fresh water and then salt water. That's exactly what it looked like. It was at three miles out. Now I've heard that the weather or the water conditions have gotten better. Um, so I'm pretty excited to hear that. I'm seeing some reports, especially inshore, that the fishing is getting better. Uh, one of our friends that's a, that's a captain and a customer here, Captain Christian Lugo, actually caught a sailfish this week in a little over 40 feet of water. So there's a lot of lot of stuff going on. The water is getting better. Uh, we're not smelling that raw sewage now on this negative these negative low tides. So it is in, it is improving, uh, but it is frustrating. And people say, well, you know, what can we do about the nine and a half million gallons that were that were dumped inside the bay or in the bay? And I've I've talked to Chad about this, and I've talked to a, a couple other people about this in the industry, and. Unfortunately, there's really not much we can do about it. Uh, if they were to dump it on land and try to put it and bury it, they get fined every single time that they dump it in, in the land. Now, every single time. Now, if they dump it in the water, they get fined one time. So they can dump, 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 and they're only paying one fine. So that's the unfortunate part about it. Is there much that we can do about it? There's really not much we can do about it. Unfortunately, with the amount of uh, building that has gone here, the amount of people that have moved to Florida, uh, it is the, 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 the resources haven't been able to keep up with the amount of people that are, that are coming in. So they haven't, the infrastructure just hasn't been able to be built to keep up with what's here. So it's creating issues. And as we saw the major flooding down in Sarasota, uh, flooding where it's never flooded before. So there's a lot of things that, that need to happen and it's going to take a while. But the, the unfortunate part is uh, about the raw sewage being dumped in the bay. Unfortunately, there's a few city and a few mis municipalities that actually dump every time it rains and it could rain very little and it's going to dump. So there's really, unfortunately, not much we can do about it. Uh, you know, maybe in the long run, yes, but at, right now I don't foresee that there's anything that can be done um, but we'll see what happens again it looks like it's going to be a beautiful weekend we have a slight front that has pushed in and i know that's crazy to, to hear that in the middle of august but
but it actually is lowering the humidity so it's not as humid it's still hot but it's not as humid this weekend very little chance of rain i think saturday no chance of rain sunday i think it's a 10 percent at that the winds are going to lay down i hear everybody talking about winds they're up a little bit, but they are going to lay down tonight into tomorrow and then into late tomorrow. They're going to lay down and then they're going to be beautiful for Saturday, for mid midway Saturday all the way through Sunday. Uh, Saturday's going to lay down relatively pretty quick, going to be east wind. So if you're going offshore, you can have a following sea. By the time you get out there and fish and come back, it's going to lay down. So I think it's going to be really, really nice this weekend. Again, the weather, the water's cleaning up. Things are looking a little bit more promising. We're going to have shrimp in the morning. We ran out of shrimp today. Uh, I only ordered a thousand. Not thinking because it has not been busy all week long, but uh, we did get busier than what we expected and we did sell out of shrimp today. So we're definitely going to have a lot of shrimp for tomorrow. Unfortunately, I wasn't, I didn't bulk order. So uh, we're going to have to wait on the trucks to get here, but please be patient with us. We will be getting shrimp in the morning. Uh, as far as bait, bait is still really tiny. Uh, I heard some reports of some decent bait getting caught, but unfortunately, uh, where they were located, they pretty much died overnight. And that's why I'm not catching any bait right now, because first, it's small, and second, it's going to die off. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about what we have in store for this weekend's tides. And we were coming into a full moon, so just keep that in mind also. On Saturday, we have a high tide at 11.30 a.m. at a 2.8 foot. Then we have a low tide at 7.27 p.m. at a negative 0.1 foot. On Sunday, we have a low tide at 5.30 a.m. at a 1.5 foot. Then we have a high tide at 12.29 p.m. at a 2.9 foot. Then we have another low tide at 8.06 p.m. at a zero, negative 0 0.1 foot. For the slooners on Saturday, we have a major feeding time from 10.39 a.m. to 12.39 p.m. Then we have a minor feeding time from 6.26 p.m. to 7.26 p.m. On Sunday, we have a major feeding time from 11.37 a.m. to 1.37 p.m. Then we have a, ma a minor feeding time from 7.12 p.m. to 8.12 p.m. And of course, that minor in the evening is going to be co coinciding with the sunset. So again, as I've talked about in the past, with the sun setting, the barometric pressure dropping, that bite is going to be exasperated with that and the minor feeding time. So just keep that in mind. If um, you're planning on fishing offshore this or on the full moon, it's gonna be, like I said, it's gonna be perfect weather for it. Uh, it's something that I slightly thought about, but uh, quickly just said, no, nah, we're gonna go fish during the day. Just watch for clean water. If you can go out and find clean water compared to other areas, I would fish the cleaner water. We had fish all around our dock. They disappeared completely. Uh, we did see some dolphins in the river, some manatees in the river, so that's telling us that that water quality is getting a little bit better. Again, I just want to say thank you to everybody for all of the support. We really, really appreciate it. Can't say that enough. If it wasn't for you guys, this wouldn't keep going like it is. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.